Hello everyone, I'm Michael Cheek with Mike'sGuitarLessons.com. This is the second video for Alone Again by Gilbert O'Sullivan. And if you've watched the first video, we're going to pick up right where that one left off. Okay? So the um, section that we're going to start right now sounds like this. Okay? And we'll go a little past that, but... Um, that's where we're at right now. So let's start off right there uh, where I showed you. And we're going to be on the G string for our first note here. And that's uh, the third string from the bottom. You want to play this note. Uh, it's the eighth fret on the G string. Play that note with your first finger. Okay? Now when you play it, you're going to bend the note slightly. That means push the string either up or pull it down a little bit. It really doesn't matter in this case. You can go either direction, whatever is most comfortable. But you're not going to bend it very far. Matter of fact, you're not even going to bend this note enough to make it sound like the next fret. This is what the next fret sounds like. But you won't even bend it that far. If you go that far, it's too far. You just want to go a little bit, kind of in between the two notes. Okay, so just barely bend that note. And then our uh, next note is on the ninth fret of the B string. We're going to have three of them. But the timing goes one, two, three. So it's one long one and then two quick ones. Okay? And then we're going to the um, seventh fret on the E string and play two of those. Then back for a, a long note on the ninth fret on the B string. And whenever we have a long note, we want a vibrato. Okay? And that's just shaking that string up and down a little bit. Um, so, uh, so far we've got all right. Now we're about to play something similar to that, except for the first note. Instead of playing eighth fret on the G string, I want you to play seventh fret on the G string. Okay? And you're going to bend this note too, the same uh, height. Basically, you're going to bend it uh, the same as the one before, just kind of barely bend it. Okay? And then ninth fret on the B string again. Three times, just like that. Then seventh fret on the E string two times. And then again, another long note on this ninth fret of the B string. Okay? So, so far we've got this. Now, let's move on from there. We're going to be on the 7th fret of the B string, and you're going to play that note. Then, with your 3rd finger, play the ninth fret on the B string. Now, play it again and slide to the 11th fret. Okay, so... Now, once you get there, you're going to play the 11th fret two more times. Okay, so... And then we're going to go back to the ninth fret on the B string. And then 7th fret on the B string. Back to ninth. And now we're going to go 6th fret on the E string. We're playing that note here this time because we don't need a slide. Okay, so again, 3 on the 6th fret of the E string. Now back to ninth fret on the B string. Okay, so let me play that far. And now we're going to go to the 7th fret on the B string. This is where we left off. So 7th fret on the B string. Back to 9th fret on the B string. Now to 6th fret on the E string. Twice. So now... Normally, I would have you use your third finger to go to this note, but we're going to need that in a second. So go ahead and go up here with your first finger to the ninth fret on the E string. Now to 11th fret on the E string. And then play it again. And now play it again and bend it up. Now play it again while it's bent up and bring it down. Okay? So it's probably a good idea to go uh, review real quick. Okay? 
So from the very beginning of this lesson, that's, that's what we're going to review now, everything that we've learned here. So here's the first part. Okay, next part. Okay, next part. Continuing on from there, um, ninth fret two times on the E string, then eleventh fret on the B string, back to eighth fret on the E string, and then ninth fret on the E string. And I want you to try to use those fingers too, so it's going to sound like this. Okay? Now we're going to go back to 11th fret on the B string, to 8th fret on the E string, back to 9th fret on the E string. Okay, so then 11th fret on the E string. Now you're going to bend this note up. Now while you still have the note bent up, you're going to play that 11th fret three more times. And on the third one, bring the string back down. Okay, so that's going to sound like this. All right. Now that's probably a good uh, point to, or a good spot to stop here. Um, and let's review, and then I'll cut the video off here, and I'll make a third one to end the solo. Okay. So let's review again. Um, as a matter of fact. It's not a bad idea. I'll actually play the actual song here and let you hear the part we're learning. So let me get the video in the right spot. That's it right there. That's up to the point where we're stopping here. So let's review one more time. Um, go ahead and play along with me. I'm going to play it slow, okay? So here we go. I have to remember what I'm playing here. Uh, okay. Okay, now, right after that come some um, hammers and pull-offs, so I'm going to save that for the next video, okay? So, if you have any questions, email me at feedback at mikesguitarlessons.com.